five, four, three, two, one, mission. Engines full power. And lift off. Go Falcon, go Kuiper. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is complete. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In just a few seconds, we'll throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q, the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. To help go from vertical to horizontal, the first stage performed a pitch kick just after liftoff, about 10 seconds into flight, which is a maneuver known as a gravity turn. The engines gimbal a small amount, and that slowly turns the first stage from going straight up. Falcon 9 is supersonic. To going horizontal with the help of gravity. It eventually will be roughly horizontal to Earth as we achieve orbit. Max Q. And there's the call out for Max Q. Continuing on the timeline, everything's looking good. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can track our progress to orbit by watching the left corner of your display. That's going to show us the first stage velocity and altitude. Now we have several events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by Mission Control, starting with Main Engine Cutoff, or MECO, then Stage Separation, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. MECO is where we shut down all nine M1D engines on the first stage. Then stage separation is when the first and second stages of Falcon separate from one another. And second engine start one, or SES-1, is when we'll light the MVEC engine on the second stage for the first time. Then less than a minute later, the fairing will then jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payload once we're in space. So... Let's keep an eye out for these events happening back to back, all coming up in about 10 seconds from now. Miko? Stage separation confirmed. Stage two startup.